Alright, back when Skyblock has just released, players started to grind for the very few armor types available back then. Some of these players realized that you could dye these armors, while others didn't seem to be that interested. The reason being is that dyeing devalued your armor. But that all changed on November the 11th, 2019, when the admin straight up removed the ability to dye armor because of people scamming with fake armor sets. Not long after, a small community formed that made it their quest to collect as much as possible of this so-called exotic armor. After a forum post that got quite a bit of attention, a lot more people, including me, started to collect exotic armor. That made people quickly realize how limited the amount of exotic armor actually is. Fast forward to 2022, the prices of exotic armor went beyond what these early collectors would have ever imagined. Armor sets that used to be a few million reached prices of over hundreds of millions or even billions of coins. You might be wondering why people are willing to spend that many coins on exotics in the first place. Well, it's not about the armor itself. Exotics are just like designer clothes, but instead of a logo you spend extra money on the color. They give a status of wealth and are often used to flex on your fellow players. I have seen him. Oh, you don't. You don't. Holy shit. Oh my god. You don't. Oh, you don't. Oh my god. You oh, you piece of... Besides that, they are fun to collect and possibly even an investment. I actually managed to collect quite a collection of my own. You can visit my museum by typing the command on screen. Some things not to miss are my navy frozen blaze set. It's the only real exotic frozen blaze set in the game, or at least besides my other one, but that one looks god awful. Multiple leaflet sets, mint pumpkin armor, and a pair of brighter pink fairy boots. These are very rare, because if you wear a complete set of fairy armor, the color will get reverted, and because of that there are not many left in existence. But with a lot of demand for exotics and the price becoming unaffordable for most players, people took it into their own hands to get exotic armor. Some of these players started programming mods to scan other players in lobbies for exotics. This worked well and lots of exotics got quote unquote sniped. Sniping exotic armor is basically finding a player who isn't aware that he owns an exotic and then buy it for usually a lower price than usual. But scanning lobbies using mods wasn't enough for some players. By scanning lobbies you can only reach players who still actually play the game. Because of that some players took sniping to the next level, by creating entire databases just for the sake of exotic armor. A good friend and I were actually one of the first people to do this. We made a script that checked one player for exotic armor. After that our code would automatically add all their guild members and friends into a queue in order to get scans right after. We managed to scan over 90 million players for exotics already. The funny thing is, you're probably in there. Except you don't have any friends, of course. But before you're going to burn your entire net worth on exotics, because if you're going to get into exotics, that's definitely what's going to happen. Let's talk about what kind of armor actually is exotic. It's a bit more complicated than it seems. There have been a few bugs to dye your armor certain hexes. A hex is a 6 digit code that represents a color. If you hold F3 and press H once on your keyboard, you should be able to see the hex of your own armor in game. If your armor has any of these hexes, that means it's dyed using a fairy or crystal armor set. Exotic collectors refer to that as crystal or fairy dyed, and because of that they are not considered exotic. Besides that, there have been some glitches where armors kept the color of the base set. Some people do consider these exotic, but most people don't. I'm talking about yellow shark armor, yellow frozen blaze armor, black wither sets, grey bat person, and last but not least, orange rancher boots. Now to really get to know the value and rarity of certain exotics, I've made a tier list. A quick disclaimer though, exotics are not just about the armor type. Besides that, this tier list is entirely made by me, although I do think many collectors would agree with me.
Miner's outfit is pretty cool. It does get traded around a bit, but the downside is that it's pretty common. They usually sell for around 100 million percent. Although speedster armor isn't that common, I just don't see a market for it. Barely anyone collects it. Magma armor. Magma armor is one of the most common exotics out there, but it's still a really popular set. But unfortunately, I will still have to put it in the F tier. It's a nice exotic for new collectors though. Ugly and common colors usually sell for around 40 million, but nice colors can go up to hundreds of millions. Lapis Armor has a large market, lots of people are interested in buying it. And if it has a nice color, people are often willing to spend hundreds of millions on a set. Angler Armor is a pretty common set, but there is a pretty big market for it. Besides that, most sets that do exist have a nice color. That's why I'm putting it at the E tier. They usually sell for around 100 million, sometimes up to 200. Obsidian chest plates are fairly common, but you only need a single piece to complete the set. They sell for between 10 and 100 million, that's why I'm putting it at E tier. Protector Dragon Armor. There recently has been quite a market for it. Although compared to other dragon sets, it doesn't even stand a chance. It usually sells for around 150 million to 2 billion coins. Old Dragon Armor. Just slightly under protector. There's quite a bit of it, just not that exciting. They sell for between 100 million and 2 billion coins. Farm suit. I personally really like farm suit. There's only like one cope who actually collects it, but it seems like they have an endless amount of money, and therefore they are worth quite a bit. It depends on how much the cope is willing to pay. Stereo pants. Very annoying to my ears. D tier. Mushroom. Mushroom is pretty hard to find, but from time to time, they still get sold for a decent amount. They usually sell for around 200 million. A Monster Hunter set is made out of Creeper Pants and a Guardian Chestplate. Pretty cool. They often sell for between 80 million and 200 million. Unstable. I'm putting Unstable above Old Dragon and Protector Dragon, because there is a bit more demand for it. That also means they usually sell for a bit more, between 150 million and 5 billion coins. That also counts for Strong Dragon Armor. Strong Dragon Armor usually sells for 200 million, but sometimes it goes up to a billion. Emerald Armor used to be one of the end game sets at the time. That makes it already very rare. Besides that, Treyoaks, an old scouter player, got quite a chunk on the market wiped. They sell for between 200 and 1 billion coins. Farm armor is actually a really rare set, but for its rarity the demand is really low, for obvious reason. It's such a weird set, barely any of these got sold, but the ones that did, sold for around 400 million. Squid boots are just like the obsidian chest plate, a 1p set. Not much to say, just a cool pair of boots. They often sell for between 200 million and a billion. Young dragon armor. Young dragon armor is very expensive. Because unlike many other exotics, it's useful on 4-7 when doing terminals. They usually sell for between 1 billion and 8 billion coins. Weiss is also one of the cooler dragon sets. Because the base color is a nice icy blue, they usually come in nice colors and sell for around 400 to 1 billion coins. Ranchers and farmer boots. Because not that many exist and there still is a huge market for it, the prices can really differentiate and can often go for up to billions of coins. Cactus Armor. It's a really rare set, and most of the sets that do exist have pretty colors. They usually sell for a few hundred million per set. From now on these exotics can be so rare, with only very few pieces existing, that they are basically priceless, and the owner can ask for as many coins as they want. Crystal Armor. Sadly you can't wear a full set of exotic crystal armor. I don't even think you can easily buy yourself a full set, because it's just so rare. Although the fact that it can even be exotic is pretty hilarious. Fairy Armor is basically a cheaper but still very rare and expensive version of Crystal Armor. Leaflet Armor. Although it's one of the weakest armor sets on this list, not that many are found and most colors match really well with the helmet. Bad person armor can come in handy when doing spooky fans, and only a few sets exist. Tarantula armor. Exotic tarantula armor only exists out of leggings and helmet, because back when you were able to dye armor, the chest plate and boots used to be iron. Pumpkin armor is so rare, just a few sets are found, and most of them have gotten wiped already. 
Tuxedo armor is very rare. Only the cheapest version of it is found yet. Sponge armor. Sponge armor is probably the rarest armor on this list. Only a single piece is found. The leggings. Antovagoras. Superior dragon armor. The demand for superior is very high. And they can go up to over 20 billion coins. Blaze armor. There isn't much blaze armor left. After I turned 6 out of 8 found blaze pieces into frozen blaze armor. But because of that you can't even complete a full set. It's still really rare though. S tier. Frozen blaze armor. Yeah, I own the only two sets in existence. And finally, spooky armor. Only a single set is found. And rumors go that the owner wants IRL money for it. If you have made it this far, please consider subscribing and maybe even a like for the algorithm. And as always, have a nice day. See ya.